Despite today's reversal, our own chart master here, Carter, says the worst is yet to come for the market. So we sort of kind of gleaned that from his commentary. Why don't you make your way sure, to the plasma, Carter? I mean, look, it, 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 are we just going to skip away with a 20% sell-off? Sounds like it's a lot, but is it? Let's let's talk about the facts. So we'll remove my opinion and everybody else's and just look at the numbers. How many 20% plus sell-offs have there been? Where it actually draws down, as was this time, more than 20%. From the absolute peak to uh, the low point. There have been 32 since 1927. Let's move forward and talk about those 32. So the mean decline is 31%. The median decline is 28 does it mean we have to match those? Some have been 20 or 21, 22, and have stopped. But again, if you were to take all of them, it would imply that if we were to be in long, that there's more. Let's talk about the duration. Now, of those 32, 20% plus sell-offs, the mean duration is 4.6 months. The median is three. This one's three months, three and a half, right? So we're only three and a half, perhaps maybe a month and a half. I think January could be very, very bad, which would set us up for this 4.6. Okay, now. Forget about the downside. Let's say the guys are right, it never goes lower. How long does it take to recover? That's really the issue. So of those 32, 20% plus sell-offs, the mean time to recoup the losses, right here, big bold is four years and seven months. The median time is two years. Some recover in seven or eight months, some recover in 12 or 14, but very rarely do you just dust it off. The point is damage has been done. And Interestingly, it happened from an instance where everyone was bullish at the exact wrong time in October for a breakout. Carter, why don't you come back over to the desk? Because it would be very awkward to have a security <coughs> in here. Um, so the bottom line here is as much as people might want to believe that these past two days mark some sort of a bottom or recovery, it will take years. If, even if it were true, it will take years. I mean, to I would say it's at least back. a year. Right uh -huh. now, again, the median and mean. Mean helps to adjust for skew of big periods where it's down for four or five years. Right. But the point is, think about anything. If you if you have a little trouble, you get out of it. If you if you get hurt, if you if you blow out your knee, you don't recover quickly. You actually do a lot of rehab, or maybe you get a knee replacement. The point is, damage has been done. The holes in the boat. You've got to bail. You've got to. I agree hole. with the damage has been done. Not get back, and there's still people think, oh well, we'll have a January rally. I totally, I Christmas totally agree rally. with your damage has been done, but I, but I think what the problem is, we've all been in this business for so long, that when we start to look at how quick these markets change, today, the last couple of days, this year, things are fast forwarded. So that four years where you're looking at that could be four months, could be four weeks. They, they change differently. The pace is totally different. I mean, this is computerized trading. This, this is the algos kicking in, Crazy. exacerbating the moves on the up They all and go down. on the same but levels, and they all the set same to the day. same Think levels. The first week in October, rates peaked at 330. S&P peaked at 2940, mm -hmm. and crude peaked. And they've literally all collapsed simultaneously. Is that a bullish thing, or is that something to be worried about? I, think oh, I, I, don't, dis I don't disagree. I think eventually we're probably going to erase the whole, ironically enough, it'll be the erasing of the whole Trump rally, because I think that's where we're headed, and that's somewhere around 2075 in the S&P. So ultimately, if things go on this same path, you would have to erase, if, if that is not in, instilled in the market any longer, if all those bullish things are not there, uh -huh. they have to be erased. Or could this be 2011? I mean, the, in, or, terms, or 20, in terms 15, of the 20 percent drawdowns, right? right? I mean, I don't know if that made the cut because it was like 19 percent or something like that from the end of April to the beginning of October in 2011. We saw a 19, 20 percent drawdown. We saw what looked like bottoming action. And then we saw basically the start. Yeah, of, and, of and what I think we have I was now. saying, you know, 15, 16, market looked very much like that. I made the comment last night that this market reminded me of how the market traded in 2008. That's not to say we're having a crisis, but you had these massive bear market rallies, and they ripped your face off if you were short, and you could make a lot of money on them if you were long. So that's really what I'm looking at here. I don't know if we get to new highs. You know, the Fed wants to start cutting rates. The dollar wants to tank. Yeah, then we'll rip to new highs. But until that happens, I think you have a great opportunity here to catch a bear market rally. So corporate insider buying has actually doubled over the course of the last two months. And the last time you saw that happen 
was August of 2011. Market was down 19 percent. Since that time, it's up 100 percent. Now, I'm not going to sit here and, and claim that we have 100 percent upside from here. Uh, but I do believe that the corporate insiders now believe that there's enough value in their stocks that they are getting back in and getting back in quickly. If we're a believer that corporate corporation, uh, corporate insiders are There's good not, buyers well, of that's their just stock. A, there isn't a lot of data that suggests that they are, right? I mean, we know that buybacks, nobody buys right. back at the low. They buy back a record amount at the high. I mean, long-term studies about corporate insider buying are very Well, the truth curious. is, well, when you look at it, though, when you pull back the camera, there's, there's a lot of reasons why insiders would sell. Right. There's only one reason why they buy. Right, so there could be some stuff going on. It, there could be divorces. So you like that data point? Yeah, that, like, that data like point fits in your both pieces. All right.